in my previous lecture on the topic of osteoporosis and osteopenia, I promise you that I will explain you how to reverse the condition. Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica with Crazy Healthy Ideas. How to stay healthy. This is the picture of our digestive tract. By the way, this is your teeth. This is the stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and we go to the bathroom right here. This is our bloodstream. And this is the bone is made out of connective tissues and calcium that sits right here. By definition, osteoporosis is calcium starts to leach back into the bloodstream. As a result, bone become brittle. In the previous lecture, I also said the concentration of calcium in the bloodstream is uh, very stable and very tight control. Uh, it's about 10 milligrams per deciliter. As um, osteoporosis unsaid, the concentration of calcium, because calcium is leaching out of the bone into the bloodstream, concentration becomes higher than 10. What happens that extra calcium will go into your kidneys and will get excreted into the urine. Now, in order to reverse osteoporosis, you need to do three things. Number one, you need to ensure that vitamin D level in the bloodstream is adequate. I will make another lecture on the topic of vitamin D, what that means, adequate level of vitamin D in the bloodstream. You need to make sure that you're taking adequate amount of calcium and you need to make sure that you are doing weight-bearing exercise. Weight exercise. I will write exercise. So let's let's talk about importance of vitamin D. Vitamin D sits right here on the brush border mucosa of digestive tract and facilitates absorption of calcium into the bloodstream. Also vitamin D sits right here on the surface of the bone and facilitate absorption of calcium into the bone. Now, let's talk about calcium. Calcium comes into our bloodstream from the digestive tract. Either it could be in form of supplement or it could be a food that rich in the calcium, rich in calcium. That calcium get absorbed through the digestive tract into the bloodstream. Unfortunately, when you eat too much calcium, concentration of calcium in the bloodstream becomes higher than it's supposed to be. As a result, the more calcium you put here into your digestive tract, the higher concentration of calcium will become here in the bloodstream. As a result, all of this extra calcium will go into your kidneys and get excreted into the urine. The more calcium you take, the more calcium you will be excreted. And some unfortunate patients, excuse me, people, can form a kidney stone. Stones, research shown that about 25% of people who are taking extra supplements of calcium will form a kidney stones. So in order to prevent all of that, you need to concentrate on number three, on weight bearing exercise. So muscles attached are here to the surface of the bone. As you do weight bearing exercise, muscles become bigger and they become stronger. As a result, in the place of attachment, this is the signal for the calcium from the muscle. I become bigger and stronger. I need more calcium, I need bone to be bigger and stronger. And this is the signal, get more calcium from the bloodstream back into the bone. So weight bearing exercise is essential. As a result, more calcium will go out of the stream, out of the bloodstream into the bone. As a result, as a result, you will be excreting less calcium through the kidney. As a result, you will prevent can uh, kidney stone formation. So the bottom line, in order to reverse 
osteoporosis and osteopenia, you need to have adequate vitamin D, you need to take adequate calcium, and you need to make sure that you are doing weight-bearing exercise. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for listening. Please ask me a question here on my channel, and I will answer all your questions gladly. Stay healthy and happy. This is Dr. Veronica. Bye, guys, for now.